Okay, so today's clause is called the adverb clause, and an adverb clause is a subordinate clause. And a subordinate clause is a group of related words that has a subject and a verb, but it can't com uh, plead a thought. It doesn't stand alone as a sentence, or it can't. Uh, subordinate clauses that modify verbs, adjectives, or adverbs are called adverb clauses. And this is the list of questions that adverb clauses can answer. If you haven't written these in your notes, you really should, because that's the only way to distinguish between adverb and adjective clause, is to classify it by purpose. Um, all adverb clauses have to begin with what are called subordinate conjunctions, and many of them are words like before, which can also be prepositions. So you have to be on the lookout for um, subordinating conjunctions. Anyway, subordinating conjunctions usually connect with one of these questions. They hint at the purpose of the sentence. For example, the word before in this example, this is a time word, so it probably tells us when. And then words like because, those kind of hint at a why. So sometimes these subordinating conjunctions will hint at uh, in what way it, it connects to one of these questions and therefore is an adverb. So let me do some of the, uh, the exercise below. Number one, after I eat lunch. There it is. After is a subordinating conjunction. It can also be a preposition, but this is a subordinating conjunction because what follows is a sentence, subject verb, I eat lunch. Uh, this here tells us when I will clean my room, so that is the uh, adverb clause right here. This hat is prettier than that other, that one is. Here it is. Than is a subordinating conjunction here. Um, and then um, this is our subject and verb. Uh, one is. Um, number three. Uh, when you get home, there it is, when. There's a subordinating conjunction, when you get home. Uh, this tells us when. Uh, please clean your room. When when do you clean your room? Right here. So this describes the verb clean. Number four, do you really watch tennis on TV more um, than you watch basketball? Um, so here is our, um, here is our uh, adjective clause that tells us about more here. Uh, and number five, George Bernard Shaw did not write a play until he was 35 years old. So until here is our subordinating conjunction. Um, and this tells us under what condition or when uh, he, he wrote. So it describes the word write. Let me circle all the, uh, the things that are described. Like the directions up here, I forgot this part. You're supposed to circle the word that's being described. So number one describes clean, this describes prettier, uh, this tells us, uh, describes clean again. Uh, this describes more, and these words describe right. Uh, if you're having trouble with, with finding the subordinating conjunctions, there is a list of all of them on the next exercise. If you look on the back of the handout, uh, there should be this list of subordinating conjunctions. So you can kind of use that as a, as a cheat sheet if you're having trouble um, just finding uh, where these clauses start. Good luck.